Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Second Act TV. I'm real happy to introduce you to Rochelle Brown today. Rochelle is a certified personal trainer and health coach and has written numerous articles on the topic of health and fitness after 50. Uh, she also just recently published her first weight loss book, Reboot Your Body, Unlocking the Genetic Secrets to Permanent Weight Loss. Rochelle, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Bye. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm real excited to have you because uh, uh, I loved your articles and that's kind of, you know, that's what we're here to talk about. What we do on Second Act TV, we, you know, we focus on redefining life after 50 and we take a close look at many of the prevailing myths that exist about aging and specifically what I want to talk to you about is the myth that after 50 we are too old to start running, that it's bad for our health and bad for our joints. You specifically wrote about this. What did you find? Are we too old? We are absolutely not too old. Um, there's been a ton of research on running and its effects on the body. Most of us know the things about it that are good for us, that it burns a ton of calories, so it helps us manage weight. It's great for our aerobic system, so it helps us boost our aerobic capacity. It helps reduce risk factors of things like diabetes and hypertension cardiovascular disease. But what a lot of people don't realize is that running can actually also be really good for your joints. It can be protective against things like osteoarthritis, which is something that we start to worry about as we get a little bit older. And you actually have research that shows that running helps your joints. That, I mean, that, that was a big surprise to me. There were a couple of different studies that I cited in that article and the one that I found more surprising actually was some scientists found that running can actually help thicken the cartilage in our joints and make them more elastic so it found that the activity of running of putting that stress on the joints actually causes the body to make changes that thicken the joint cartilage and can make it more elastic so it's not wearing down our joints like people think that it is. What happens is your body actually adapts to that and changes to protect the joint more. And so you can end up with a healthier joint because of running rather than wearing it down. And that was really exciting research for me because it really dispelled that myth that running gets to be hard on your joints as we age. That, that to me is just fascinating and so motivating. I, I obviously tout running a lot. It's my favorite sport. It's a great way to socialize, you know, to get your cardiovascular activity. But then it's always, oh, my joints, I can't do it. And, and you know, we, we've busted that myth. It is not bad for your joints. I'm, I'm sure there are extenuating circumstances, but do not let that stop you from starting a running program. We will link to that, uh, to your article, so everybody can read the research firsthand for themselves and if they want to get in touch with you as well I'll, I'll link to your Facebook page and other information that we will have on our website. Uh, Rochelle thank you so much for that great information. Bottom line running is not bad for us given that you've got clearance by your you know doctor and don't have any inherent issues. Uh, I'd like to keep you over for another segment Rochelle so we can talk about how to safely start a running program. Thanks again for watching. If I can ask you one big favor, please hit the subscribe button that's floating around right about here, or there's a subscription link at the bottom of your screen. Really appreciate it. See you next time.